Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Facts Giving Crew. So this is going to be a twin flame reading for um, August the 23rd until the 30th. Um, so we're still in the eclipse energy as we speak. Um, I was outside for uh, the main part of the eclipse when it went dark, so I'm still feeling a little disoriented and my ears are ringing so it was definitely a, a strong energy for sure so i thought i would sit down and do a reading for you so i'm using the john holland psychic tarot of the heart um so i think i'm gonna pull the cards first make sure they're in the camera So I also wanted to thank you guys for all of your love and support. Um, if you ordered a reading, I am um, definitely getting to those. Um, I have more people booked than normal, so it might take a little bit longer than seven days, and I thank you for being so patient. Okay, so my cards, I will give those a little shuffle. So I'm done working on them. I actually touched up every single card in the deck, you know, except for a couple of them, but for the most part, every single one of them have been worked on. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Okay. I can get through this before they start getting really sticky. Okay, so let's begin with the um, feminine recent past position. Seven of Swords, seek the truth. So this card usually talks about deception. Um, you know, things are left hidden. Um, you feel like somebody's stabbing you in the back, not telling you the entire truth. So the feminine have been in... Um, a negative space recently. Let's find out why. The solar plexus chakra, two of swords, and the sacral chakra. So we got two lower chakras here. Uh, the base is number one, number two is sacral, and the third one is solar plexus. Sorry, I got ink on my hands. Um, so there is a, a feeling of, you know, this is where the parasites are stored in the first three uh, chakras. So, you know, there's fear, um, your emotions are all over the place. You feel like you don't have strength um, or courage in order to move on. Um, so, you know, there's a, what I'm seeing is, you know, a negative headspace and it's because a decision um, needs to be made or you're waiting for some clarity so um, the past position solar plexus this is strength courage um, to overcome something or to do something the two of swords is indecision having two paths don't know which one to choose uh, so you're constantly stuck at a crossroads uh, future position is a sacral chakra, so this is your emotions, your passions, your desires. So, that coupled with the Seven of Swords, and it says, seek the truth down here, right? So, there's a woman, she's opening this veil, um, and on the other side of the veil is the sun, so it's illumination. So, what I'm really feeling here is that the feminine needed to retreat to back away um, from negative thoughts uh, concerning a decision and there's a masculine being represented here so maybe it's you know waiting for the masculine to to make a decision or the feminine needed to make a decision about the masculine and it really kind of played with her 
So let's carry on. Uh, okay, so the recent past for the masculine. The death card, release. So the masculine went through a massive transformation. This is metamorphosis, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So uh, it's death of the ego, death of your old identity, um, cutting away things that no longer serve you. So you can see here all this negative energy and rotting and decaying um, things have are just slipping away. He's releasing that energy or has released that energy. So he's gone through a massive transformation. Heart chakra, of course. Lover's card. And the Eight of Pentacles. So past position, heart chakra. Oh my God, how beautiful. So the masculine really opened up his heart and felt unconditional love. Uh, and you know the heart chakra is the motor that drives consciousness okay and that's so that's beautiful that that's what transformed the masculine is this um, love right so the lover's card is in the present position and this is you know the passion and desire that is ignited between soulmates and twin flames um, so it's a deep love and a deep hunger for this connection, but it is a longing energy. It is an actual union. So love, deep love and passion and desire is what is motivating the masculine to move forward, to release this old life, these fears, this ego. So the Eight of Pentacles is in the future position. So this is a 3D reality. This is releasing from everything okay being reborn um so there's love that started this you know transformation it's love and passion that continue to move them through the transformation and in the future so this could be the coming future or the past future um there's a sense of real groundedness a new start a new foundation a lot of work and effort put forth into manifesting this connection into the 3d reality or you know just gaining abundance and resources in order to propel him forward so this is positive movement forward groundedness a uh, huge sense sense of accomplishment so he released the old he brought in the new he started working on um you know, manifesting this connection into the 3D reality. Okay, so for um, the feminine's present position is number three, share the love, three of cups. So this is another like kind of ignition energy. Um, when two people come together, they create a third energy which is love and it's this love like I said that transforms this connection um, so this is celebrating that love um, having that energy moving through you so the picture here though is showing you know a person offering a heart um, so sh the feminine is open there there's a sense of unconditional love that's being offered to the masculine in the, the present moment Three of Pentacles, Sun card, and the Five of Cups. Past position, Three of Pentacles, firm foundation, groundedness, a good start. There's still a lot of more work to do, but um, there's a sense of, you know, excitement and success, okay, with this connection or just, you know, manifesting abundance into your life. But we got two threes here, so that's kind of union energy. Uh, the sun card, present moment, you are on top of the, the world. Oh my God, and I just realized it's the eclipse. <laughs> Isn't that freaking hilarious? Oh my God. So I have the sun and then the moon moving in front of it. Uh, it's a solar eclipse. So <laughs> the feminine you know, is really taking on this energy of illumination and strength. Um, so this is a new beginning, um, 
starting from zero, a return to innocence, future position, five of cups. So a, a twist, you know, in the, the plot here. The five of cups is mourning and loss. It is pain. Whenever you've attached yourself to something and it leaves, that causes suffering. So attachments cause suffering. If you remove the attachment, you remove the suffering. Um, so whatever it is for you, there's a sense that, whoa, <laughs> jeez. Uh, there's a sense that something is causing her heartbreak. So I'm going to pull an Osho Zen card for that. But wow, clips. So totally clips of the heart. The old 80s song. It's coming to mind. Okay, so what do you mean by the Five of Cups? The Source, Ace of Wands. Okay, and then the Six of Swords kind of jumped out on top of it here, so it wanted to be seen. The Six of Swords is carrying a burden. Um, over here we have the Seven, then uh, the Five, and the Six, so clearly the Feminine is in the mind, um, worrying about something. Okay, so let's read this card. Zen asks you to come out of the head and go to the basic source. Ha, there you go. It is not that Zen is not aware of the uses of energy in the head, but if all the energy is used in the head, you will never become aware of your eternity. You will never know as an experience what it is to be one with the whole. When the energy is just at the center pulsating, when it is not moving anywhere, neither in the head nor in the heart, but it is at the very source from where the heart takes it, the head takes it, pulsating at the very source. That is the very meaning of Zazen. Zazen means just sitting at the very source, not moving anywhere. A tremendous force arises, a transformation of energy into light and love, into greater life, into compassion, into creativity. It can take many forms, but first you have to learn how to be at the source. Then the source will decide where your potential is. You can relax at the source. It will take you to your very potential. So here we have the sun, you know, being at the source being illuminated. Um, sun is creativity, excitement, you know, it's freedom. So in the future we have the five cups, so there's this loss, this mourning energy, and, and Spirit is asking you to return to the source, return to this illumination and excitement. Um, yeah, so the feminine seems to be having a hard time letting go of something this indecisiveness, this, you know, but then again, we have her, you know, opening up the curtains, allowing the sun to come in, and then we have this explosion of light. So, you know, keep the, the blinds open, is the message that I'm getting there. So the masculine present moment, is the Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless. So we have a progression, the seven to the eight. Um, so, you know, here a masculine is being depicted. It's kind of that same energy of two roads to travel down, you know, in a separation. So the masculine, the number eight, though, represents the prison of the mind. Um, so he feels trapped. He feels that... Um, you know, there's a void separating the feminine and the masculine, but it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So you're choosing to believe that you are uh, imprisoned. Two of Wands. Come on. The third eye chakra. And wow, the Ace of Cups. Two Wands represents making a decision to 
follow your higher calling, your true authentic path in life. Uh, this is, you know, not making a decision based on fear, but based on what's good for you, what's true for you. So you've already made that decision in the past. Um, and so you've walked out that door. You've seen how you are connected to everything, to the universe. There's an expansion. Third eye chakra, present moment. You're using your intuition. You are, you know, being guided to look within and, and, you know, dig deep. What is true for myself? What makes me happy, not other people happy? Um, and it's true love, you know, being surrounded by love, um, not obligation, not guilt, not fear, anxiety, and, you know, anger. So I feel the masculine is coming out of this mental prison using his intuition. Um, the Ace of Cups is in the future position, so this is a brand new start, beginning of love. Um, and this card only comes when you've healed your heart let go of the past, um, overcome your fears, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. So I see major healing energy happening here um, and an opening as well. Like, look at that, just letting it all go, releasing all of your fears, your old identity, your old life, and doing what's right for you, not for somebody else. Okay, so um, near future position for the feminine, Blossom, the Judgment card. So this is another rebirth energy. Um, this is realizing your entire life has just been an illusion. Um, you know, it's all made up of past life stories, um, judgments, you know, um, people put labels on you. Um, and you believe those stories, you take on those roles. So this is an awakening to that. And it's seeing your own light within and realizing how powerful you are and then blossoming into a new person. So near future position, it, this is, you know, the grand awakening card. So there will be a moment of clarity, an epiphany. Um, and it's like you're holding that sun in your hands. You are in source. You're in the light, um, connected. So what I'm feeling here is, you know, realize how powerful you are in how you do create your own reality. So I just love how there's like, you know, you're looking at it through the curtain, um, there's a sense that you're, you take that energy into your hands and then you grow it. Okay, so clarifiers, page of wands, ace of pentacles, and the ace of swords. So two aces, so that's um, an 11 there. So there's gonna be two well, actually, all three of these cards is new beginnings as well as this rebirth up here. So let's go through that. So the Page of Wands is, um, it could be good news, uh, great communication, and it's coming in the past. So there is what I see in Epiphany. You know, both of these are kind of like aha moments and as well as the um, Ace of Swords there. So there's this moment of clarity. Um, Either it comes in as communication or, um, you know, a synchronicity, a sign from spirit, um, or just, you know, a realization within yourself. Um, so the Page of Wands also speaks of beginning a new life, one that is more in line with your spirituality. So this is embarking on that journey. It's a new start. So the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. It's abundance, um, and it's also a brand new beginning in the 3D reality. So again, we have the sense of a new start coming. What you do with it is up to you. 
Um, so we got the Ace of Swords here. So this is a decision made. It's clarity. It is uh, victory as well. So it's an idea grounded into reality. So um, there seems to me that there's a decision that comes from the feminine, <clears throat> sorry, the feminine energy. Remember in the past there was this indecisiveness, you know, this crossroads inability to move forward. Um, and then the feminine makes a decision. So she releases herself from this mental state here. So you got three aces so far. Okay, near future for the masculine. Five of cups. So it says change your focus. So it's the same card right down here that's coming in the future position. So again, mourning, loss, a feeling of protecting your heart. So the main energy is coming from the masculine, whereas over here it's a clarifier for the future. So there will be a point where um, you, the both of you, both the masculine and feminine, feel this disconnect, um, this sadness, this heartbreak, um, and you know, again, don't fall into that trap of victimization. That's what I'm feeling from that. The Hermit. <clears throat> the um, Seven of Cups. And the Page of Swords. So past position. Um, the Hermit is Major Arcana. So this is retreat, relaxation, but you're on a spiritual quest for wisdom and knowledge. Um, and it's a complete disconnect from the material world and its conditioning. So the masculine has disconnected, has um, sought out solitude. The Seven of Cups represents, you know, this is Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. So this is a feeling of confusion. Knowing what you want, you know, I want to go home to Kansas, um, but I don't know how to get there, right? So you're looking for your, your um, yellow brick road or whatever. Um, so the future position is the page of swords. So this is the double communicator card. So this can mean speaking your truth honestly, openly, with clarity, with detachment from your emotions. Um, so there's a sense of the masculine was in solitude to heal his heart and to find his path. Um, you know, which way to choose, left or right. Um, but ultimately, his heart is broken. And the future position, he makes that decision, and it's reflecting on this, um, you know, Ace of Swords is also making a decision. It's also communication. So, yeah, where this communication comes from, who initiates it, I'm not too sure, but uh, it seems pretty important here. Okay, so for the final come for the feminine, listen, this is a high priestess. So again, there's a sense of listening to your intuition, um, using your inner knowing, your inner truth to guide you. So the feminine is, as a final outcome, will be in this observing type of energy. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. So, Seven of Wands past position. And we have a transition here from Seven to Eight. And then the Nine of Cups. But these are both Wand energy. So, the Seven of Wands is um, knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing them. So, standing up for yourself. Being the king of the hill. Not backing down. Having confidence to express yourself. The Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. It's important communication, um, but it's also about manifesting. So it's accelerated motion. Um, it is These two cards represent being on a spiritual path. Um, and because you are able to express yourself, put this positive vibration out into the universe, it's being manifested. And here we have Wish Granted, or Dreams Coming True, the Nine of Cups. 
um, is a wish fulfilled. You feel like you have arrived at this place. Um, you know, everything is great. You're happy. You're, you know, you're enjoying life. You're um, going out to restaurants. You're hanging out with friends. Um, your love life is, is abundant as well. So the high priestess, it's almost as if you, you take a step back and observe. And at that moment, you start to realize that what I put out, I'm getting back. And it's almost like things start to manifest into your, into your reality almost instantly. Um, you know, what I'm seeing here is, you know, that um, almost eclipse kind of energy that I was feeling. You know, my, my ears were ringing um, and, you know, using that energy in some way to manifest your dreams. Okay, so final masculine, control. So this is a strength card. Um, so this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with a situation. However, well, let's pull the clarifiers. Knight of Cups, geez, Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So past position is the Knight of Cups. This is um, a movement forward um, towards love. It is courting, it is offering your love, your hand in marriage, it is wanting a relationship to start. So again, with the past position, there's a sense of this longing, a desire to move forward. The Knight of Swords is again another movement forward. Um, so this is not only making a decision with the page, but taking that decision and moving forward. Um, so it's action. And uh, so, you know, again, mental clarity, he's the champion, he fights for truth and justice, uh, and it's a very fast movement. Eight of Cups, future position. So this is um, a pilgrimage, a movement away from a negative situation, something that's emotionally abusive and draining. So it's there's a sense of making a decision and taking action and moving away from a negative energy or emotionally draining energy. Um, and it's to find yourself, to find truth, what's right for you. So a lot of movement, three movement cards. However, the main card is strength. So it's using this gentle energy in order to change your environment, um, to transmute it you know, into this beautiful place rather than conflict in order to overcome whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, so the, the feminine, what is she bringing into the union? Detach, justice card. Um, so this is balance, this is karma. Um, but what I'm really seeing here is a feminine releasing that dove, releasing, you know, her fears, um, you know, leaving it to destiny. Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, and Throat Chakra. So Knight of Pentacles is... Um, it's movement forward again. It's very slow movement, um, calculated steps like one after the other, but it's always moving forward. Um, and he always arrives at his destination. So the feminine has been on this journey for a long time. She's been taking it slow, um, letting go of the need to control, getting out of the mind. Um, and trying to really stay in this place of the now. Temperance card is balance and harmony in all areas of your life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And it's being in the now, being in the moment. So the feminine um, is represented as having patient, patience, um, being determined, and still moving forward, uh, and detaching. 
you know, she's turning away from the connection, away from the union, um, you know, to seek her own answers, find her own light within. Oops. Okay. Oh, and then the throat, throat chakra, future position, this is... Um, the most important communication card, number two, was the Eight of Wands up here. Um, three is the Page of Swords. So all of these cards, and then also the Ace of Swords is an important communication card. So all of these cards represent communication in the future. So it's a repeated theme over and over and over again. So communication will come to you, whether it's through, like I said, uh, source or... Uh, from turning within, listening to your own inner guidance, um, speaking your truth, or again, you know, uh, the masculine speaks his truth. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing in? Seek the hermit. Um, so again, it's a repeated card. The masculine got the hermit up here in the near future, past position. Um, so again, solitude rest, relaxation, going into nature, um, connecting with yourself, finding your own light within and shining it bright for others. So again, there's a sense of finding his light. So you guys are kind of mirroring each other. Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So past position, Six of Pentacles, cohabitation card. This is sharing your life with somebody in 3D. Um, or it also represents an even exchange of energy between you and another person. Or just giving your, your you know, sharing your abundance. You, you're pumping the, um, priming the pump of gratitude, okay? What you put out, you get back. So there, in the past position, hermit. There's a sense of him desiring to come to the feminine in the 3D, or maybe there was contact in the 3D, but um, hmm. I'm feeling groundedness, foundation, allowing allowing him to retreat and you know work on his own life, his business. Um, you know, we got the Six of Pentacles here, Eight of Pentacles in the future, so there's growth. Um, but really, you know, this card represents sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. So that's his motivation. That's what he's thinking about while he's in meditation. Um, so the Five of Wands is overcoming obstacles and challenges. Again, it's shining your light from within, being noticed. Um, you know, and these are minor challenges, minor obstacles. Future position is a three of cups, so same card. Okay, so another synchronicity there. Um, both coming in the future. So again, union, celebrating love. Okay, so foundation, the uh, master. So this is a devil. So, um, you know, this is a chain in the 3D reality, a codependent relationship, an addiction, um, self-limiting beliefs. So as a foundation, both of you have realized that you are chained to something, whether it be to each other or to another or to something in the 3D. Um, so there's a sense that you both have been taking a look at this, this attachment, this chain and for the masculine, it caused a transformation. He he released himself with the chain, or released the chain with the hermit twice. Um, and same thing here, a sense of mental clarity, decision. Uh, same thing on the feminine side, looking, analyzing, seeking the truth, and again, re releasing yourself from that chain uh, with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so again, shared energy between the two. So for the feminine first, judgment card, and masculine four of cups. So the masculine, 
um, this is offering your heart to somebody and them turning away, rejecting it. Um, it's disconnect, you know, stagnation, thing, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. So the masculine is turning his back on the devil, on, on this chain. Um, he is, you know, em emotionally guarding himself so that he can make decisions about how to release himself. That's why he's feeling, you know, this disconnect at the moment. Um, so we have a progression from the four to the five and then to the eight of cups. So it's finally walking away from that negative energy, that chain. So the feminine is bringing in the uh, judgment card. So this is the same card that's coming in your near future. So again, awareness, awakening, realizing your life is just an illusion, a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So you can choose a new life, a new way of looking at things. So this is, you are analyzing the devil. You're re making realizations and you're finding your strength and power. Um, yeah. Okay, so crowning move, the chariot. So here we have a masculine and a feminine coming together, moving forward um, with love in your heart. So the chariot is taking control of your life and overcoming obstacles and challenges um, in order to pursue your dreams. Um, and, you know, in the John Holland Psychic Tarot, it's all about, heart, you know, love, unconditional love. So as a crowning energy, you know, we have this true love. As a foundation, we have this illusion. So, again, there's a sense of seeing the truth. What is true for you? How do you feel in your heart? I feel love. I feel unconditional love. Um, and that's what motivates me. That's, um, you know, the reason for the whole twin flame journey, right, is love. Uh, so there's a sense that the fe feminine and masculine are coming together um, to, you know, it's almost like making decisions together, moving forward together in this chariot. Um, yeah, so... It's looking to the past, seeing how you're changed, seeing how different that connection is from this, you know, a chain, fear, obligation, um, rules, conditioning versus true love. So heart-centered, and oops, actually, I want to pull one card for the feminine. Nine of swords and the five of pentacles. So nine of swords, um, anxiety, stress, worry, guilt, fear, nightmares, night terror. So the feminine, again, a sense of being in her mind, um, you know, so is the masculine. So they're both trapped. They're both, you know, allowing their thoughts to take over. However, at the heart of it, there is love. Whenever the feminine or masculine start to, you know, feel that fear energy, they are able to pull themselves out with um, the chariot, you know, change their focus to love. Oh, that's right. You know, I feel love in my heart and that's what's true for me. You know, not these thoughts. What if this? What if that? So the five of pentacles is masculine. This is disconnect from something in, in the material world. So it could be a financial loss. Um, so... You know, the, fem the masculine is detaching. That's, you know, repeated energy over and over and over again. There's something that he's walking away from in the 3D reality. And the feminine, again, is just detaching from mental thoughts and realizing her own power. Um, so I feel you're either, you know, you are actually working on yourself separately, but for a common goal um, so that you can come together. Okay, heart-centered energy, eight of pentacles, dedicated effort, there you go. So it's like the masculine and feminine are coming together and working, building this reality. You know, the eight of pentacles is the same card that the masculine was bringing in the future. 
um, you know, there's the Six of Pentacles as well. So a lot of work, a lot of effort, turning your thoughts, your dreams into reality, into the 3D. And it's shared between the two. Oh, nice. Two of Cups. Whoa. <laughs> devil. So Devil card right down here. Um, you know, and we have the, the masculine turning away from the devil, turning us back on that energy. Up here, again, detachment. Um, all throughout the reading, same idea. The masculine is detaching. He's cutting the chain with, with the hermit. So, you know, that's what he's bringing in. It's, it's truth. It's a realization um, that this has, you know, this has been holding him back. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel... You know, it's almost like the masculine is holding up this picture of, well, this is what I've had to deal with, this in my life. And the feminine is holding up the two of cups and saying, you know, this is true love. This is 5D spiritual union. This is knowing your twin flame on a soul level, having the heart chakra open. And it opens up higher levels of consciousness. And you can see that in the masculine's reading from the heart chakra to the third eye chakra. And it's because of love. So the feminine is reflecting this beauty back to the masculine. Um, and ultimately, that mirroring is helping both of you to heal. Okay, so bottom of the deck. Shine the sun again. Shine your light. Be radiant. Um, you know, so both the masculine and the feminine are releasing, finding their own light within, and, um, you know, on a more basic level, this represents brand new beginning, freedom, return to innocence. It is the most positive card in the deck, so it is abundance coming towards you. So you're both, again, repeated energy, repeated um, message that you're both finding your light within. But the masculine is detaching from something in the 3D. So the feminine, continue to release your attachments, continue to stay in a positive frame of mind, um, and don't let your worries and fears take over because the masculine is actually going through a much rougher time than you can ever imagine. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Mist and Mermaids, and this will be the final messages from the universe. Okay, that reverse card, I thought about stopping before I saw it, so this is for the feminine. Okay, and for the masculine, stop. Tale of Mossy Gold. So the feminine got mermaid with black sea serpent in reverse. So I'll read the feminine first. Okay. Cling to me with desperation of a motherless child. I will give you all you need. Tell me your fears and I will swallow them whole. Drink their essence. Consume them with greed. Rely on me and I will stay by your side, forever your pet, the only one. Lean on me. I will be your support, forever your crutch, your autonomy, undone. So in reverse, share the love. Your self-love is preventing you from truly loving others. How often do you put yourself first and foremost in an arena? This tendency is keeping you from truly getting to know the significant people in your life and from developing deeper relationships with them. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be fallible, and you will gain much more than you ever had when you were solely focused inward. So. Yeah, there's that focusing inward and detaching, releasing, okay? 
putting down the burden on your back. Um, yeah, and just don't close yourself off. Okay, six of number six. Okay. So, tale of mossy gold. Unkept and untended, my scales go unmended. The longer I slog through the mire, sullied and tattered, bedraggled and battered, lacking the care I require. A red-headed mermaid blushes with a chagrin as she exhibits her tail, once shining gold. The tail is now tinged with green swamp moss, visible evidence of personal neglect. So the meaning, do not forget to take care of yourself. You have been feeling run down lately and with good reason, as you have not been listening to your body's natural cues. Now is the time to take care of yourself before things get any worse. Remember the importance of sleep. Too often we think of sleep as an inconvenience, as an intrusion on our busy lives. Take the time to recognize it for what it really is, a wonderful, natural way to restore the body, mind, and soul. Keep your body clean. You make a point of keeping the outside of your body clean through regular showers and hand washing, but how we treat the inside of our body is just as important. An emphasis on whole natural food can do wonders for your well-being, as can abstaining from dangerous chemicals and potentially harmful, harmfully sorry, harmful controlled substances. Finally, do not forget to exercise. Any amount of physical activity is better than none. And even a few extra steps per day can be beneficial to your health. So again, there's that sense of turning away from that, that chain, that thing that is draining your energy it is, um, you know, I see self-love in, in these two cards and this as well you know, disconnecting in order to look after yourself. Um, so now's the time, right? Release whatever is holding you back and pursue that which makes you happy. All right, so I hope this helped, guys. Love you much. Peace.